Peter Dutton has said the Morrison government is not able to pursue the resettlement of asylum seekers in New Zealand because intelligence suggests people smugglers would resume operations. Dutton declared on Sky News that Labour had raised New Zealand as an option to speed up the removal of people from Nauru, but the idea was in fact raised by the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, before the Wentworth by-election. Morrison told government backbenchers concerned about deteriorating conditions on Nauru, and also telegraphed in the parliament, that New Zealand could be an option if the government could secure passage of legislation intended to ensure there could be no backdoor entry to Australia. However, the Home Affairs Minister said on Thursday now is the wrong time to be sending people to New Zealand because intelligence surveillance of smuggling operations had detected increased chatter and talk about elections and change of government here. My judgment at the moment, based on all of the advice available to me, is New Zealand would be a pull factor at this point in time, Dutton said. He said the government could pass the legislation Morrison flagged but even if it did, there would need to be a subsequent assessment of intelligence to ensure transfers didn't trigger fresh boat arrivals, a caveat Morrison has not alluded to. Dutton confirmed there had been an acceleration of removals from Nauru in recent weeks, but he claimed that was designed to save money, not to respond to humanitarian concerns about the health of children. He said people being removed from Nauru would not return to offshore detention but insisted they would not be settled in Australia either. Amnesty International Australia said the decision to move people off Nauru was an admission of failure regarding the offshore processing system. Human rights and welfare groups said the welcome revelation demonstrated politicians were catching up with community sentiment, but that the timeline was still too long for the 38 children on the island and the remaining adults also needed to be evacuated. They have also questioned the motives of the government continuing its legal challenges against medical transfers while telling the Australian public it was working to bring children to Australia.